The most common cause for ignition module failure is high secondary resistance. This video will demonstrate a common way this occurs and how to properly test and replace the failed components. This vehicle is a 1990 Olds 98 with a 3800 engine and only 60,000 miles on the odometer. The complaint is a hard start when ambient temperatures are below 32 degrees. A likely suspect of this type of complaint and ignition system is the ignition coil. That was our first check. To ensure the wires are installed back in the correct position on the coil, it is a good idea to mark the wire location before removing them. We are right on track. Look at the rust buildup on this terminal. This is a good indication of high secondary resistance in the system. This wire set definitely needs to be replaced. Unfortunately, we don't have one readily available. It will need to be done at a later time. Let's move on and see what the coil testing looks like. The secondary resistance specs for this coil are 6,000 to 12,500 ohms. This coil is actually three separate coils in one package, so it must be tested accordingly. First coil has a reading of OL, which means out of limits. The resistance is so high, the meter cannot read it. This coil needs to be replaced, but let's see how the rest of the coil tests. The second coil has a reading of 13.97 K ohms, which is 13,970 ohms and over specifications. The third coil reads 80.2 K ohms, which is 80,200 ohms and is also out of specifications. It is easiest to replace the coil on this vehicle by removing the module and coil as a unit. Removal of the ignition coil module assembly will require the removal of the primary wire harness connector and the three mounting nuts found below the mounting plate. Note the rust and corrosion on the second nut removed. We'll need to thoroughly clean the plate before the system is reassembled. A wire brush does a nice job removing this corrosion. On the bench, let's remove the six coil mounting screws. Now we can separate the coil from the module. Note the location of the six wires which connect the module to the coil. From the primary connector back, they are yellow, green, and blue on one side of the coil, and a three terminal blue wire connects to the other side. This pattern can be connected to either side of the coil as long as the three terminal blue wire is on one side and the remaining in sequence on the other. It does not matter where the terminals on the three terminal blue wire connect as long as they are all on the same side of the coil. 
Notice the module potting material. See how it is deformed and starting to separate from the primary wire? This condition is a result of high heat created by the failed coil, ignition wire, or spark plug. For quality concerns, we'll replace both the coil and control module. The green gasket supplied with the module protects the primary connection from any moisture invasion. Using a small flat tip screwdriver, slowly work the gasket over the module primary pins. Be very careful not to bend or distort the pins in any way, but make sure the gasket is seated in the bottom of the cavity. Our coil is shipped with a gasket pre-attached. The module also comes with a gasket loose in the box. Use only one of the two gaskets. We are now ready to make the connection between the coil and module. If you did not note the primary wire location on disassembly, the supplied instruction sheet will guide you through the proper procedure. The yellow, green, and single blue wires must be on one side of the coil in proper sequence, and the three terminal blue wire on the other. With the wires correctly connected, carefully bend the coil tabs over. The coil tabs are designed to be bent only once. They will break if rebent too often. Be certain the wires are not pinched between the two components. Pinched wires will create a short circuit condition and component failure. To ease installation of the self-tapping screws, apply a small amount of lubricant on the threads. Light motor oil, transmission oil, or a spray type lubricant is recommended. You are now ready to install the coil module assembly. Thread the three nuts onto the mounting studs and torque to approximately 18 foot-pounds. Next, install the wire harness onto the module. Connector damage will occur if this mounting bolt is over-tightened. Reinstall the six ignition wires on the coil, placing them in the same position as when removed. The ignition wires cannot rest near the primary wire harness of the module. Electrical interference could cause intermittent engine no start or a misfire condition. The replacement is complete. Start the engine and verify your work. And don't forget to come back and replace those ignition wires.